four mistakes guys make when talking to women. Fellas, if you've ever been talking to women, chances are you've probably done one of these four things. I know because I used to do these four things, okay? I'm a guy who's approached thousands of women. I'm a guy who's talked to thousands of women. I'm a guy who's had successes, who's had failures. I've been rejected, I've been accepted. And most of all, I've coached hundreds of other guys on this successfully. So what I've noticed is that most guys do a lot of these things that just make them look really unattractive to women. So we're gonna start with number one, which is the body language, having unattractive body language. So what is unattractive body language? Well, unattractive body language is typically when you are closed off, when you wanna hide, when you look weak and feeble and just not confident at all, okay? The way the opposite of this looks is you standing up straight with your arms out, not in your pockets, not closed off. You wanna be out there and be open and have the confidence to know that you deserve to be seen, that you deserve to take up space. And so when you're walking in front of somebody, if you have this presence about yourself, she's gonna feel very relaxed, she's gonna to wanna to talk to you, she's not gonna feel closed off herself because if you're closed off, then she's gonna mirror your behavior, she's gonna feel like you're up to something. She's gonna feel like this could potentially be bad for her and you don't want her to feel like that, okay? The more confidently you walk up, the more likely she is going to open up to you as well too. So that's the first way that you wanna start this. And you also too, I'm gonna to give you a little quick tip that I noticed as well, to look even more confident sometimes, especially in like party environments, lean back a little bit, okay? That shows a little bit more confidence because guy, what guys tend to do is they tend to lean forward a lot. Brings me to mistake number two, which is being overbearing. Typically, when a guy approaches a woman, especially if it's at night, especially if there's been a lot of drinking, he's gonna walk up and he's gonna get way too close into her space. So I'll notice a lot of women complain how guys like, you know, don't approach them for the entire night. And then finally, you know, when 1 a.m. or 12 rolls around and everybody's drunk, then the guys just get way too close, way too quick. Whenever I'm talking to somebody for the first time, you know how when back in, you know, COVID we were talking about six feet, I was always doing that, okay? You always wanna give them a little bit of a distance before you start actually engaging with them, okay? So six feet's good. And the other way that you wanna start is you kinda of wanna start to the side first, all right? So a lot of times guys will maybe like start approaching from the back or approach from the front. Those ways can feel a little awkward. From the back feels predatory. From the front feels like you're attacking them. From the side feels a little bit more casual. And you wanna stay at the side until that person is ready to square up with you. And once they start squaring up, that means that person is more comfortable with you and then you can start talking to them a little bit more intimately, okay? But before then, I don't want you to come in an invader space and I also don't want you to go too far away. Don't be scared to get up next to somebody. Just don't get in between them and their personal space. And the last thing that I'll put with this is when I notice guys talking in like really loud environments like clubs or bars or things like that, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll lean in a lot. Now, it's okay to do this occasionally, but what I would invite you to do is just talk louder, which I'm gonna get into in step number number four. But basically, if you're always leaning in uh, when you're talking to somebody, that is gonna, you know, it just shows her that you're the one who's really putting in the effort into this conversation and she's kind of doing nothing. Mistake number three is not speaking clearly. Too many guys, when they're talking to women, they don't speak clearly. Hi, my name's Lloyd. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you, my name's Lloyd. Nice to meet you. I caught that. My name's Navy. What you want to do when you're talking to women is speak slowly. I'm a fast talker, so this is something that I have to be really conscious of. When you're talking to somebody, if you talk slower, I would recommend that you talk at about a third of the speed that you normally would talk at. And when you do that, you sound a lot clearer. Hi. Hi. My name's Lloyd. My name is Maybe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. This is super important for loud environments because what loud environments will do is the music's gonna punch holes in what you're saying. And when it punches holes in what you're saying, if you talk too quickly, then what happens is the words are not understandable at all. But if you talk slowly, then you're able to actually get the word out. And even if the holes were punched in it, she still understands what you're saying. And the next thing, and sometimes even more important, is guys talk too quietly. I noticed that when they're walking up and talking to a girl, she can't hear anything he's saying. And if she can't hear you, she's gonna turn around and talk to somebody who she can hear. So if you're talking to somebody, then I want you to talk louder than you're normally used to. Yes, I know there is a chance that somebody else may hear you, but who cares? Guys who talk more loudly do better with women. There are studies to prove this. Guys who talk more loudly sound more confident. 
If you want to sound like that, all you have to do is start talking louder, slower, and clearer. Now, there might be some people out there who say who already talk really, really loudly. That's like, you know, 1% of the people that I'm that usually watch my channel. Most of the time I see guys who, uh, who watch this, uh, they need to talk louder. Number four is having negative energy. If you're talking to somebody and you come in with a frown on your face, and by the way, this is something that's super useful for me because I'm a dude who has angry eyebrows. I look like I'm about to murder somebody at any second. So I really have to play on this. If somebody walks up and talks to me, I really have to have positive energy. I have to have a smile on my face. I have to make sure that I have good like, warmth to them because usually I'm a little bit serious. Uh, if I don't have these things, like they're not gonna wanna talk to me, okay? Women like a guy who's warm. They're already a little nervous about you. You know, men are a danger to them. And by you bringing that warmth, that care, that's gonna really allow her to to relax around you. Women always say they like a guy who they can feel kind of warm around. Yes, it's cool to be that James Bond secret agent guy at some points, but uh, in this time, if you're walking up and you're approaching a girl who you don't know, you want to play on the friendly and comfort factor because a lot of the time it's not that, oh, I didn't look cool or attractive enough. Most of the times, it's, you're not warm, okay? You know, she's going to be more comfortable and get to know and actually take the time to be attracted to a guy who's gonna be warmer to her than a guy who's like coming off really negative, abrasive, and just, uh, yeah, it just leaves a bad taste in their mouth when they're doing that. Now you may be wondering how much positive energy you should bring to the interaction. I want you to match their energy and just go a little bit higher than them, okay? So when you're coming in, if they're kind of at a low energy state, you wanna have a lower energy state too, but pick it up just a little bit, all right? So this might involve maybe you sit down, and maybe if they're not smiling at all, you smile a little bit, but you're not jumping around, laughing, and you know, shouting weird things. All right, so those are the four things. Now, there are plenty more that I didn't mention, but those are the four main ones that I see consistently with people that I talk to, okay? So if you're a guy who's having trouble with this, chances are you suffer from one, but I can't predict which individual one is gonna be the most important for you. Or maybe there might be one on this list that I didn't even talk about that is your problem. You see, everybody's different with this, okay? There are some guys out there who need to talk louder, like I said, most guys, but then there are other guys who talk too loudly, okay, and talk too slowly, and then they need a different set of advice for that. I cannot predict whoever is watching this video. I'm just going by averages. But if you are confused and you want to know what you need to work on, then you need to hire a professional or someone to get feedback from them who knows what they're talking about, who can give you an honest answer. In my experience, your friends, they're not gonna do things to upset you, and sometimes they're suffering from the same problems as you, so it's tough to get good feedback. Hiring a professional can really help out with this, and that's exactly what I do with my clients. And not only do I tell them, do I give them an honest appraisal of what their weaknesses are and how to improve on them, I put them in a date scenario with a woman who's either a female friend of mine, sometimes they even use my girlfriend. We give you an honest appraisal of where your strengths and weaknesses are there, and not only that, but we take you through the process process of fixing those things so you can be at the maximum level of attractiveness that you can be for the opposite sex. So going through this program, you're gonna be better. So if you want help with that, then fill out the form below at getcoachedbyloyd.com. Join the community, and thanks so much for watching, you guys. Good luck out there.